Hello, my name is Joe Gosnell. I'm here to demonstrate the Remote Scan Enterprise User Edition License Server installation, as well as registering your Remote Scan License Server software on the terminal server, and then finally setting up your Active Directory. If you haven't already, go ahead and download the Remote Scan Enterprise User Edition install file from your account onto your terminal server. Uh, once you've done that, go ahead and just double click on it. Okay, we strongly recommend that you exit out of all Windows programs before continuing. Once that's verified, go ahead and click the next button. This is our license agreement page. Once you've read through it fully, go ahead and click the I agree and then the next button. The remote scan user edition install file includes the client, the server, and the license server installer. The client and the license server are to be installed on the terminal or Citrix server, while the server software is to be installed on the scanning workstation that has a USB attached scanner. Once you understand all of these processes, go ahead and click Next. We are installing the license server software, uh, so let's make sure that that radio button is selected and click Next. This is the default location where Remote Scan will write onto your workstation. We do recommend that you keep those default settings and then click the next button. This is to restart Remote Scan License Server software anytime you restart your computer. Go ahead and click yes if you want to do that. I do recommend it. And then click the next button. Here you'll need to input the IP address of your Active Directory server. Once you input that, go ahead and click next. Okay. You will need to update the personal firewall on your computer if you're running Windows XP or older, or a Windows Server 2003 and older. If you're not too sure, go ahead and check that anyway. It's not going to hurt anything. And now we'll just click Next. Okay, we're ready to install. Let's click the Install button to execute. You will now see it write the remote scan files to your Windows directory. The installation is now complete. You'll see the license service warning. Click yes to install the remote scan service. You should now see the success window. Go ahead and click OK there. And you also will be asked to start the license server. Go ahead and click yes to start that. Also notice that in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, there is the remote scan enterprise license uh, icon with the alert saying there are currently zero users assigned to the active directory. So once that's through, go ahead and click the Finish button. The installation is complete, and that concludes the license server install process. OK, please note the remote scan server icon in the system tray with the red X over it. If we right click on that icon and select Register, notice that the Not Registered To at the top of the window is present. So to register your remote scan server, you will need the license key and the site message that you received in an email with the subject line, your license file. Copy and paste the two entries from your email into the fields and click the check license button. You should receive the key is valid message. Go ahead and click the OK button. Notice that your product key and license number are now showing. So now we can go ahead and click the save button note the remote scan icon. Click the icon and the about window will open. You will now see that the remote scan license server says registered to and it shows your username. In order for users to scan with remote scan, they will need to be added as a user within the active directory group remote scan. I'm going to open up our scanning application on the license server and try to run a test scan. Now if we go to the file and then acquire, the remote scan user interface will open. Note at the bottom of the window it says your username, uh, Jay Gosnell, is not authorized to scan. Let's go ahead and close that window as well as the scanning application. So to resolve this issue, we will need to log into our terminal server with Active Directory, which I will open up here. Click to open up your Active Directory Administrative Center. You will then see the Windows General Practice Security Warning. Just click the Yes to open the Active Directory. One thing to take note of, you will need to have the group Remote Scan created in your Active Directory before adding users to enable scanning. First, you will need to go to the Global Search and find your Remote Scan group. Double click the group to open the Group Management page. You will need to scroll down to the Members section and click the Add button. 
go ahead and type in a full or partial username and then hit the check names button. Once the full object name displays, we can click the OK button to finish adding. Finally, we will need to click OK to update the group. So if we go back to our remote scan license server and click the remote scan icon, we can now see that there is one user assigned to the remote scan group in Active Directory. We can then open up our scanning application. Once we select the Acquire button, the Remote Scan user interface will open. We can now see that the Not Authorized message is no longer present and we can begin scanning. Okay, that concludes the Remote Scan registration process. Thank you for watching this series and I hope you have a great day.